TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high-quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. Hey everybody, in this video, my buddy Nick and I are taking a road trip in the brand new USA-made Volkswagen ID.4 through Nashville. We're going to see some amazing sights and experience everything that this electric car has to offer. All right, so joining me for this ID.4 road trip is Nick Miles. Hey, Tommy. The one and the only. Nick Miles is currently in search of a beagle. I am sorry, I, I was lollygagging with the people from the <laughs> drive company looking for beagles. Not just any beagle though. Yeah, no, it has to be a lemon and white. A, a lemon and white? Yeah. Is that like a... Uh, they have pink noses and they're actually orange, but you know how people get confused about colors. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so we're going to go through our Tennessee road trip today, but first we need a Starbucks. Yes. God, you're, all people know two things about me they didn't need to. They need to know about the car. This is pretty cool, actually. Look at this. I like this a lot. So on the navigation of the ID.4, it'll actually show you in three-dimensional um, images kind of the landmarks near you. You see that? That's really cool. I think that's pretty snazzy. So you can see we got like this circle thing and this building thing. I like that. Nashville, by the way. Hopping city over here. A lot going on. Especially at night. Especially at night. And then check this out. We got a left turn coming up. Now take the second left onto Fourth Avenue South. Do you see that blue bar that like extends across the dashboard? That was really cool. I really like that. Now up until, well, this upcoming Friday, all ID4 sold in the US have been built in Germany. But Volkswagen has put a huge amount of money and a huge amount of time in retooling their Chattanooga, Tennessee facility to start building the Volkswagen ID4. And those cars are just hitting the market. Well, on Friday is when the first cars are gonna make it into customer hands. There's also a few changes on US spec ID4s that are built in the States compared to the ones that have been imported from abroad. So if you're looking for an obvious way to tell the brand new Chattanooga built ID4 to the older German built ID4, well, the easiest way to tell is actually this lower front grille is now a shiny black plastic compared to the current trim built in Germany, which is a flat black plastic. And another way to tell is actually the rear bumper design. So you can see the German car has kind of this gentle curve to it, whereas the new American built car has a much more dramatic crease in it. So those are two fun ways to tell the German ID4 from the American ID4. But the biggest deal is there's a new entry level, a 62 kilowatt hour spec, which is gonna be about $4,000 cheaper than the current base price for 2022. So currently the ID4 starts at like 41,000 and some change, but the new model is gonna start in the $37,000 range, which is just fantastic. Now the one we're driving today, this one is an ID4 all wheel drive Pro S, comes in at $52,000, so this one's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but there's still some changes we can talk about. In the front of the ID.4, we have a new bumper, a new treatment in the front end to make it look a little bit more modern, a little bit different compared to the 2022 model. And then wheels, we got all new wheels for 2023, and I love these wheels. These are the 20 inch option, and it's actually an aero design. You can see that uh, a lot of it is filled in, but Volkswagen has nailed these wheels because so many aero wheels look like a pie plate. They just look a little bit dopey, but I think Volkswagen has done a great job with this particular design and making it look kind of sleek and modern, but without making it look, well, like me a little nerdy and kind of just unattractive. But Nashville's a really fun city if you want to go kind of check it out for a weekend. Especially if you're getting married. Yeah, what is what is up with all the bachelorette parties in Nashville? I don't know, apparently this is where bachelorettes come to get loaded and party. Why, why just bachelorettes? Um, I don't know if they do patch, bachelor parties here too, but it seems like almost every Hollywood star has a bar, a bar here. Yeah, and you can go there and like real proper musicians with proper labels show up and perform. I was just talking to my girlfriend about this and she was saying the reason that they Wait, have- Stop. <laughs> How can you brush over the girlfriend? <laughs> what do you mean? You just slipped that in, didn't you? Yeah, well, it's not, not important to the we story. We might visit this on the video. Um, but <laughs> Does everybody know what just happened? All right, carry on, sorry. All right, well, it took a little searching, but we are here at a Starbucks and actually the Volkswagen system was really, really helpful in finding the Starbucks because um, it allows the passenger to search while you're driving. So Nick just searched for Starbucks and here we are. Really good stuff. One of the things they changed in the 2023 ID.4 is the center console situation, which is supposed to have larger cup holders, larger and more in charge. And sure enough, they do work pretty good. I hope they worked last time. Plus a deeper pocket apparently in the middle. How deep is it? Oh, look. 
we'll probably get uh, I don't know where they found the room but it does look like it's cavernous and here's the deal do you remember when German cars came with one USB holder or oh, one USB plug I remember when we had the 2015 Jetta wagon and they had one USB port and we mentioned to them in America there is usually more than one device in a car and why is there only one USB port? And they said, ah, oh, wait until next year's model. There'll be two. <laughs> Germans. And now look, and they redid the position of the wireless charger. Yeah. Um, so it's supposed to be a little bit uh, easier to use. They have two uh, USB-Cs here. Um, I, I like the fact that they have sort of gone ahead of the curve, but how much trouble would it have been to have USB-As and Cs? And I kind of like what some companies do. They have them next to each other, A's and C's. It's unlikely you're gonna use four at once. Um, so it's not gonna be that much draw on power. Would it have been that much trouble to put four in there, two A's and two C's? I don't know. 295 horsepower in this all wheel drive I need for. 209, is it? It's like 201, 205? Yeah, Slow 200s so on the rear wheel drive. Zero to 60 in five and a half seconds. Would then. you um, have an all wheel drive or a rear wheel drive? Well, living in Colorado, I think all wheel, drive. all wheel drive. But if I didn't live in Colorado, I'm not buying an ID4 to drive quickly. So I'd probably go with the rear wheel drive. When you marry your girlfriend, will you move out of Colorado? Marry my girlfriend? That's bold. I've been dating for two months. Um, <laughs> are you going to marry her? It's two months, Nick. Well, some people get married quicker than that. <laughs> You know, is she someone... marriage material then, I should ask? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, she's, she an, she's an accountant. Yeah. Oh, I remember you getting the first date with her. Yeah, yeah. You said she was really hot. <laughs> she is very, very pretty, yeah. Okay. Hot's but... too far? Well, I just, that's you too. Okay. You don't want people to make the wrong assumption. In the back of the ID4, Volkswagen is now offering an optional illuminated rear Volkswagen logo, which is pretty interesting. And one other thing I want to talk about, if you want to take a look down here, the Volkswagen ID4 in all-wheel drive trim can actually tow 2,700 pounds, which is pretty good for a small electric crossover. To me, some, to some of his uh, music that he listened to growing up. Yeah. Was oh, this music based out of the UK? Uh, it's what my parents listened to, and um, you know how they make a impression on you. Yeah. Um, so I decided I would rustle it up and make some Spotify playlists and relive my childhood. And now you have to suffer it too, Tommy. It's kind of like the monkeys, but like. A little different, and I absolutely love it. It's so yeah, good. It's based on sort of the monkeys playlist. Yeah, it's fantastic. I'm killing it, Nick. Check it out. We are rolling into our lunch stop in this town called Bell Bottom or Bikini Bottom, or what do you remember what it's called? Uh, Bell Buckle. Bell Buckle. Buckle. That's it. Uh, a really cute little southern town. I love these little southern towns with these adorable little houses. Look at this house. Look, look at that shade of blue. How come we can't paint houses that color in Colorado? There's no lore against it. Yeah, but there's like some social weirdness. I don't want cool colored houses in Colorado. Look at this pointy thing. Oh, it's a church. <laughs> Rolling up to our uh, destination here. Look at this. Look at these old um, fire chief gas pumps. Very cool. Can you put a quarter regular in there? Yeah, from, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll get it. It's, it's leaded though. It's leaded. Right, right here is good, guys. That's what I drink. <laughs> All right, so we're here at this super southern little diner place, and I got chicken strips, but Nick is vegan, and how did that go? Well, salad's always the go-to choice for every vegan. Yeah, this is not a super vegan-friendly part of the country, I think it's fair to say. So my chicken strips fit right in, but... Every time I go somewhere and say, what are your vegan choices? Grass or salad? <laughs> Check out all these famous people that came to this restaurant. Ricky Von Shelton, Curly Fox, pretty impressive. Dude, there's not a single person on there they recognize. They're all cut out of a magazine. <laughs> yeah, but they're signed. Look, the Stonemans signed that. Look at that haircut. Holy cow. Do you remember their last hit single? The Stonemans? Yeah, they haven't had one, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> this vehicle is probably more fun to drive in all-wheel drive. Oh yeah. Because of the power. Right. Zero to 16 under six seconds. It's kind of a sleeper though, because you look at it, not a lot of people think. 
This is gonna be a performance machine. Where where is the line in fun to drive in zero to sixty times? Well, I think. I mean, zero to sixty will only get you so far in fun to drive. The Miata yeah. is not a particularly quick car, but it's the most fun to drive car. Whereas the you ID think so? Well, yeah. No. I don't think so. You don't think the Miata is fun? No. I mean, it's fun. Are you driving it right? The, you said the most fun to drive. Oh, a new car, I think. So. I find it spongy. Sp you think a Miata is spongy? Yeah, the they, the back end is too squishy. For have, me. have you driven like any other car? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that this is a fun to drive car. But for example, there's an old couple in a Subaru in front of us, yeah. and with just a quick lane change and a spot of acceleration, you know, it zips you along pretty darn well. Yeah. Now I do want to talk a little bit more about batteries and charging, because some interesting things going on on these new US-built ID4s. The current ones, the 2022s, have LG cells in the battery, but for 2023, on the Chattanooga-built ID4s, they're going to an SKI uh, battery cell, which is pretty interesting. And we also talk a little bit about some of that charging speed increase. So um, up to 170 kilowatts now of peak fast charging. That is in the big battery. The small battery gets up to 140 kilowatts of peak fast charging. And once again, the two battery capacities, 82 kilowatt hours and then 62 kilowatt hours. Now the 82 kilowatt hour battery built here in the US going on sale basically now. The 62 kilowatt hour, uh, those are a little bit delayed. So those are still uh, yet to hit dealerships. Now the charging port on the ID4, in the back of the vehicle, you have, of course, CCS charging. Now, this is a terrible system. This, like, slider thing, it just it does not work very well. Do you like the steering wheel one more? Uh, yeah, the steering wheel is much better, although I wish it was man. It's, slight, it's almost the slightest system on the steering wheel. It and just, you know what happens is you just witnessed it perfectly. Even to try and use the steering wheel system, too, you end up wandering out of your lane. You. I see other ID4s on the road too, and they start wandering out of the lane, and I guess they're just adjusting the volume. It's just too hard, Nick. Too hard. Enough things in life are hard, Tommy. Why make them harder? Let's go into search. Now, apparently they redid some of this for the 2023 model year. Let's look for charging stations. Because there's an EA halfway between here and Chattanooga, and I'd love to just kind of see um, if we can get plug and charge going. Um, there's ways to filter as well. Uh, 350, here it is, Manchester, Tennessee, 17 miles. Oh, look at that, wonderful. 27 minutes away, I'm gonna click start. Look, Nick, we made it. I don't think we're gonna get one, Tommy. <laughs> Let's check out some of our road trip data so far. So we are sitting at 46% state of charge. It's estimating 119 miles till empty and this vehicle is EPA rated at 255 miles. Now you can see so far we've driven 124 miles, averaging 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. I don't think the car was quite fully charged when we left, but it was pretty close. Two hours and 56 minutes. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. So surprisingly, not a lot of charging infrastructure between Nashville and Chattanooga, at least DC fast charging infrastructure. We have this EA here in Manchester, Tennessee, but not much else till we get to Chattanooga. And even in Chattanooga, it's pretty slim. Now this is an EA Signet unit with a 500 amp rating. You can see Max 500A. And Electro America has been giving away a lot of complimentary sessions to a lot of folks over the past month or so. But let's see, first of all, is a plug-in charge active on this car? I know, according to the Volkswagen folks, that it's coming. Let's see if it'll work on this 23 model year. Connecting to the vehicle. Come on, buddy. Initiating charging, look at that. Come on, let's see, will it work? Let's see what happens. Come on, buddy, you got this. First charge of a 2023 USA built ID4. Continue here on the screen. Thank you for choosing Electrify America. Sorry about the glare. This is just a really impromptu session. Look at that. Just plugged it in. Didn't input any information. Didn't swipe to charge on my app. And off we go to the races. Now I did have this station plugged into the navigation software. And obviously starting at 46%, uh, not near the bottom of the pack, but let's see what the peak charging rate is, even from 
Approaching 100 kW, there we go, there's 100. 98, 97, leveling out right around 100. We'll let her charge up for just a little bit here, but it's looking pretty good. Well, that turned out to be really painless. We just showed up in the VW, plugged it in, and now we're off to the races. Of course, this is gonna be a complimentary session, pulling 100, 100 kW at 47%. Um, now I'd love to do a full charging test, but I'm here as courtesy of Volkswagen. I just don't have the time to take a car all the way to zero and then fully charge it. We'll have to do that when we get back to Colorado. Well, we seem to be charging at a pretty steady rate of right around 92, 93 kW at 49% steady charge. We've been here for two minutes. So we got it to plug in, um, got it going without swiping anything, just by plugging it in, it started the session, which was great to see. So 50% now. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. This is not the purpose of this video. I just wanted to see if it would work. It works great. Uh, now, obviously we didn't see the 170 peak, which we're supposed to see, but that's probably because of state of charge. It could be battery conditions, it could be a pre-production car. Um, but still, that was really painless. Got some electricity into the pack. We don't really need it because we're not going that much further to Chattanooga, probably 70, 80 miles. Uh, but we'll update you when we get to the hotel. And I think there's a surprise waiting for us. All right, well, we made it to Chattanooga, Tennessee. You can see the ID4 is lining up there. And the sneak peek I wanted to show you is Volkswagen is allowing us to check out the brand new 62 kilowatt hour ID4, which starts at 37,495, which is a great surprise because, of course, 53 grand, you get a lot of car, but it's a lot of money. It's cool to see the more entry level model. It's got 209 miles of range, so slightly less range. Um, the one we're checking out too is a rear wheel drive spec, but it's cool that, you know, Volkswagen is realizing, hey, not everybody can afford these really expensive cars. Let's give them a more affordable option. And the new one is some $4,000 cheaper than the cheapest ID4 you can buy for 2022, which is a really great thing to see more affordable options. Now, I've asked them multiple times, will this car qualify for the new tax credit under the new program? Because hey, it's built here in Tennessee. It's the USA made. Well, they're still working in all the details. So we'll have all that information here shortly. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment below, comment section below, Ooh, getting tired. Big thank you to Nick for joining me on this road trip. And as always, we'll see you on the next EV video.